guys. Hey, this is Michelle Getzinger here, and I'm at the Wooden Whale, and I would like to introduce you to the owners of the Wooden Whale. Hi, I'm Cherie, owner of the Wooden Whale. And I'm Brad, her husband. We started making custom furniture because when we were looking for furniture for our home, mm -hmm. we couldn't find anything that was customizable or affordable. Um, furniture doesn't have to be expensive to be nice. Right. Um, so we can do any size, any color. Um, it's made of solid wood compared to like veneers and uh, materials that aren't going to last forever. Right. So um, some of my favorite memories growing up were around my grandmother's dining room table. Mm -hmm. And my parents still have that table to this day. Uh -huh. And it was actually, I think, my great grandmother's. So it's crazy how you can just have a piece forever and mm -hmm. have so many memories around yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. It's like an heirloom piece. That's what you guys yes, are creating. Yes, exactly. Yeah, something that's going to last generations. So one of the really cool things that Wooden Whale does is they have some really unique species of wood, some rare ones. Um, can you guys tell us a little bit about this piece in particular? This piece is made out of wormy chestnut. Uh, the wood itself is about 100, 150 years old. Depends, not exactly sure exactly how old, but uh, it is extinct, it no longer exists. Something's very rare and hard to find. Tell us about how you got into the business. I got into the business, my brother actually started the business about six, seven years ago now. And uh, something, I actually went to college to be a woodshop teacher. And then I actually stopped being that and went for business. He. Uh, Decided he didn't want to do it no more, so it was the perfect situation. We ended up taking over the business and it's worked out ever since. So how many years has it been now? Two years for us. Two years? Yeah. Wow, that's great. And you said you grew up in a small business, right? Yes, yes. My parents um, had a small business growing up, so we thought it would be perfect. And I know one of the awesome things about like having your parents have a business is how much time you get to spend as a family. Like you work together and you right. learn to, these kids come in here and they sweep the floors. They're the youngest little working bees around. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. So one of the really cool things about the Wooden Whale is the customer experience. You get to come in here and you get to custom design your individual piece of furniture. Um, do you guys mind telling us about how that process will work if we were to come in and, and do this? Yeah, sure. Uh, what we do is actually pretty cool. A customer comes to us, we got these custom order sheets we go over. Basically, the customer designs their table from top to bottom and everything about it. Basically, every table we do, thousands of tables throughout the years, every table is different. I've never once built a table that's the same. Have you ever had a job that hasn't turned out the way that your customer expected? Actually, to be honest with you, we've had maybe one occurrence of a displeased customer that was just something minor that we took care of right away and got it fixed up for them. But uh, I can one thing I can say about our business is 99% of the time we end up with a very pleased customer. Because you do whatever it takes to make them happy, right? Basically, our customers create their tables, so they basically know exactly what they're getting before they get it. Where do you get the wood? All of our wood's local cut. Uh, most of our wood comes from Lake Moraine or Penn State, one okay. of the two. So wow. all within hours of here. Now, what if somebody like had a tree that was personal to them that, that died and People fell bring down us there? their own personal wood all the time. From a, say they have a barn in their backyard that fell down. It was a hundred years old. People bring us wood from that barn, or sometimes a tree falls that was in their yard they had a swing on. And they'll bring us wood from that tree and we can make them a table or whatever they want out of it. Okay, I'm going to ask you how you came up with a name. Yeah, it was my brother. It was kind of just a made up name. We go to the beach every year is what it is. Okay. Okay, we go to, every year for the last 10 years we've been going down to the Outer Banks. And uh, just one day at the beach, starting this whole process out and didn't have a name. and well popped up or something and he's thinking wooden well came up it's just totally random thing from hanging out with family down at the beach basically just the name popped in the head that's pretty cool mm -hmm. 